Hi everyone, Trevor here from astrobackyard.com. I'm here uh, in the backyard for a night of astrophotography. It's a Wednesday night, so we're midweek, but uh, the forecast calls for clear skies all night long. And that's the weather network, the clear sky chart, and the clear outside app, they all look great. That is, uh, I can't remember the last time that happened. So tonight I'm going to be shooting uh, M81, M82, uh, and that's, uh, so I'm going to be adding to some existing data I've already shot. And then um, later on in the night, I'm going to switch over to the Leo triplet, a triplet of galaxies, uh, and it's uh, kind of in the other direction. So we'll, we'll be starting out in the north near uh, Ursa Major and then heading over to the constellation Leo. Uh, normally I shoot with my Canon Rebel T3i, but uh, I'm currently still using a CCD camera, the ZWO ASI 071 MC Cool that is uh, on loan from Ontario Telescope and Accessories. Uh, it's a very interesting camera and uh, I believe that they're trying to bridge the gap between DSLR imagers to CCD, uh, both in price point and uh, features of this camera. So uh, it's quite the opportunity for me to get to, to use this and to share my experiences with you, being that uh, the majority of the audience is uh, using um, DSLRs. With that being said, uh, I had some uh, early struggles with the camera, which is uh, to be expected. Um, it's a lot of new software and uh, just the, uh, learning the new terms and the functions of the camera. Um, but I've been keeping at it and uh, I'm actually getting some really, really nice results now. Thanks to the uh, Astro Backyard community on Facebook and uh, some friendly people on uh, Cloudy Nights. I'm learning a lot about this camera in a hurry and uh, so I should have a really nice image to share of uh, M81, M82 uh, at the end of this video. So uh, stay tuned and uh, I'm going to kind of walk you through my process using Sequence Generator Pro and uh, just the whole, my whole uh, setup using this CCD camera. So uh, stay along for the ride. So I'm just starting up a sharp cap here for focusing and in a minute you're going to see a live refresh, uh, one second refresh through the scope looking at the star Dube. Had me guessing there for a second. Uh, if it, I forgot to plug the camera in or something, but uh, you see that insanely out of focus star there, that big orb? That's Dubé. So this is where the Batnoff mask comes into play. It really comes in handy when uh, shooting uh, CCD rather than backyard EOS. And there we go. Now once you've got that star focused as best as possible uh, using the Batnoff mask, on my refractor there's a screw underneath that you need to tighten to lock the focus. So one, adjust the tension in the focus and that's this one. So I want to keep that pretty tight but this one actually locks the focus down. And uh, a few people have asked me about that so that's very important. Once you've got focus you want to lock it down and then check check your pattern again to make sure it hasn't changed and it hasn't so we're locked on so I'm gonna use sharp cap to uh, frame my my object as well before hopping into sequence generator pro I picked up a power cable for the uh, CCD camera so I can actually use the cooling tonight, the tech cooling, which is funny because it's minus 12 out here tonight, but uh, I'm going to cool that baby down to minus 40. This part is a lot easier to show you from in the house here, uh, controlling the uh, PC outside with TeamViewer. So uh, I'm here in Sequence Generator Pro, I've got 32 days remaining in my trial. Uh, first, I'm going to go into the Equipment Profile Manager, and uh, I've set up the basics here. You can see Trevor's rig, 
and I've got the uh, ASI camera set there and now the cooler I haven't used this yet so okay so it says clicking go will begin a tech cool down and will set the camera's temperature to the specified value cool down to over the specified period of time okay in 10 minutes well I guess I want to do it now in one minute I don't I'll say two minutes I don't want to push the thing too hard cool down oh my goodness this is so cool cool down to minus we'll do minus 30 that's pretty cold in my book that's colder than uh, my DSLR has ever been I'm not gonna touch the gain value in ADU over here although now I'm seeing some interesting tooltips that are popping up that I want to read anyway so I'm setting cool down to minus 30 in two minutes and uh, okay so I can set it up for next time cool down on camera connect that's what I'll I'm gonna set it to that cool down on sequence start oh okay perfect so that's when it's gonna cool down when I start my sequence and this is under the equipment profile manager for Trevor's rig everything else I'm gonna leave alone oh auto guide let's check those settings right PhD PhD 2 with a small dither Trevor's rig is loaded okay yes I would like to save it speaking of PhD we need to get that going and uh, this is how to connect the Altair GP Cam 2 which I highly recommend it's been a dream I'm gonna connect that and the on-camera uh, connection it's as easy as that and we're gonna refresh okay no star selected with three seconds okay this is uh, the reason they're soft and fuzzy like this it's the screen gamma brightness so you might be used to looking at something like this but I like to crank it up so I can kind of see everything you can actually see deep sky objects in here it's pretty cool uh, so we're gonna do tools auto star select it likes that one and we're gonna start the calibration process so it's gonna do its thing and we'll go, uh, come back to that in a minute so I've got my target named here M81 M82 March 22nd in the directory name I'm gonna just keep putting this into it's funny it's I keep them all in a folder that actually has country music in it uh, so we're gonna keep the country uh, theme going make a new folder called night four and so that's where it's gonna put my light frames here so this is the event number one uh, so type light frame exposure I'm gonna do I should stick with the four minutes but with the hay it's really it's really clear out there I'm not pushing the gain too high and the camera is gonna be at minus 30 I can't believe that uh, so I'm gonna do a full five minutes and I want to do 20 of those so I don't want to start this yet because PhD isn't even done yet although it's probably pretty close this is kind of the interface here it's gonna show me my PhD to graph over here uh, and then frame and fo focus will just basically show my field of view and then the histogram here will show my frame the histogram of the frames that come up which will be in the main window here Okay, we're now guiding and we're going to start taking our five minute subs uh, with the camera that's going to, so it says, cool itself down to minus 30. Type light frames, run. Now I could, uh, Sequence Generator Pro is all about setting a sequence of events to automate the whole thing. Uh, I'm not nearly that far along yet, but uh, I'm using it in its most basic form. Basically, the way I would use Backyard EOS with my DSLR so 
let's get this running. I should have checked my PhD graph first, but uh, I'll have a look at that. Oh, checking auto guider status, running sequence. Boom, okay, here's the countdown. 298, 297. Come on, graph, look good. Whoa, going a little shaky start there. Are you kidding me? Do you see that airplane that went right through my frame, almost touching M82? Ugh, that ruined my five minute sub. Oh well, it looks like it's guiding well. The stars look really sharp. Focus looks great. Man, that airplane though. Thank you.